There is a word from God uh, this morning found in the Gospel of Mark. The Gospel of Mark. Hallelujah. Chapter 9, uh, verses 8 through Hallelujah. 50. Let's pray. Lord, thank you. For all blessings already received, Lord, we give you thanks, not only for the night, but you have blessed us all week long. And now as we begin another week, you're still God. You're still blessing. And we give you praise for it all. So, Lord, we are every moment of our living seeking to be fed by you. At your table now, Lord, touch each of us that we have listening hearts that your word finds a resting place. Decrease me that you increase, that the words of my mouth and meditation of our hearts will all be accepted in your sight. Holy Spirit, so feed us by the power of your word that we are filled up and filled up and even stirred up so that when we get up to leave here, the overflow of our blessings will touch someone else's life along the way. Now, Holy Spirit, touch each of us and we're better off in leaving than we were in coming. In Jesus' name we pray that the church say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Receive the blessing of God's word. Jesus said to him, Teacher. John said to him, Teacher. We saw someone casting out demons in your name. And we tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, do not stop him for no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able soon after to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against us is for us. Let the church say amen. amen. For truly I tell you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose their reward. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great milestone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It's better for you to enter life maimed than to have two hands and go to hell. To, to the unquenchable fire and if your foot causes you to stumble, do what, church? Yeah. Hallelujah. It is better for you to enter life lame than to have two feet and be thrown into hell. And if your eye <coughs> causes you to stumble, do what? Yeah. Oh, my God.
God's grace. Hallelujah. One of the realities uh, that uh, we face uh, in our living is that all of us are guilty of imperfection. Mainly because we cannot perfect ourselves. Now, certainly there are areas in which God has so moved and touched you that you can say, thank God, hallelujah, I have patience. Or thank God uh, that I have fruit of the Spirit manifesting and I can enjoy the blessing of knowing that God is working on me. Thank God. But there are still sin in all of us. For our flesh is not saved. And we have to keep it in subjection. We find ourselves in a daily battle of flesh and spirit. Hallelujah. And, 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 and as words say that when we're in the flesh, we can't please God. And so it behooves us to know and put forth our effort to walk in the spirit. But here in this book of Hallelujah. And every now and then they rise up. Hallelujah. And before we know it, uh, we have opened the door and let them out. And once it comes out of our mouth or our actions, it's like toothpaste out of the tube. Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, please forgive me. I didn't mean to say that. I didn't mean to do that. And sometimes, hallelujah, it's not with anybody around. You are saying that even to yourself, for we all sin and fall short of the glory of God. Yes, yes. Oh, thank God for his amazing grace. Yes. I often in the text in which we read his story. I am brought to the reality if it were not for God on my side. Yes. If it wasn't for his amazing grace. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Blind. No hands. Hallelujah. No feet. <laughs> Crippling grace. For I know I don't cross every eye, and I don't dot every T. Hallelujah. And I even get that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but compassion is good for the soul. And Jesus continues to teach his disciples. And he says unto us, hallelujah. Don't hate on others that have reached a, a level of boldness or a competency that they step out, step off the boat, and they are working to bring God glory. Stop hating on them. Hallelujah. For those that do the work of God in Jesus' name, hallelujah, they're not called to follow us. We are called to follow him. That Jesus said, Hate us when you great. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. When he or she says, I don't know who she thinks she is, praise the Lord, because you must think I'm that. <laughs> <laughs> so he began to, 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 to teach his disciples, and the same Jesus that taught them then is the same Jesus that's teaching us now. You heard me say it many times. Get the lesson, get the blessing. God will take you to a, heaven, a higher level, elevate you to a higher level to deal with some new devils. But I don't even have to worry about the old ones. Hallelujah. They don't even bother you no more. You, because a, a evil's job is to mm, rob, steal, and destroy. And when you know that 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 you know, and you hold on to your faith in the midst of the storm, regardless of the crisis, regardless of what happens at any time, my faith has the anchor on the solid rock of Jesus Christ. You can't take this. Get behind me. 
joy. When you lose your joy, you lose your strength. And boy, you get beat up when that happens. Amen? So let's get the lesson that God would have us to receive regarding his amazing grace. So the first lesson is, what's grace? God's grace is his unconditional favor. We've been that favor. Hallelujah. It is the blessing of God's benevolence. That is, God is ever giving. God is ever forgiving. God is ever showering us with blessings. And not just us. His blessings rain on the just as well as the unjust. The whole of his creation is blessed because of his amazing grace. That's God's love and mercy and kind-heartedness to we and all that are undeserved. Amen. Hallelujah. God gives us everything we don't deserve, nothing, because we fall so short of his glory. Amen. Anybody thanking God for his grace? So scripture always blesses us in our understanding, hallelujah, comprehension, and over and over again, he feeds us his word until we get it. Amen? Amen. So in 1 John chapter 4, lesson for our blessing comes in this regard. We are from God. Can I get an amen? amen. Hallelujah. I, I had an opportunity to do a little premarital counseling. I love premarital counseling, especially with, with older people. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> one, one, once you reach 50, amen, then you should you should be thinking with your other head. Amen. And you have gone through enough, hallelujah, to make wise choices and decisions. Usually God allows us to go through and have the experiences of that which we don't want so that Why you didn't let the commode seat 
down. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> and why are you not washing my car anymore? <laughs> and you gonna let me run out of gas? <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, you let me walk out of the house with a brown man with a black sock on. <laughs> you know what? I hate you. Oh, come on, baby. Ain't no payment. I hate you. Just last night. It was I love you, I love you. That love that comes from self is for self. And it's, hallelujah, conditional. As long as you please me, I'll try to please you. But when you don't please me, I'm through with you. But God's love is a God. God's love is sacrificial. God's love is wrapped up into his amazing grace. And God pours it into our hearts. Do that by the power of God. 
So again, First John gives us this blessing. This is the message. Somebody say, this is the message. This is the message. That we have heard from Jesus and proclaimed to you that God Knew. 
the plan that he has for your life just as he has for mine. So the work of the Holy Spirit justifies us, whereas that in God's eyes, no, I'm not guilty. In yours eyes, I never will be right. Amen? Hallelujah. I love my sisters. I got 13 brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. And boy, they humble me every time I'm with them because they will not let me forget where I come from. Hallelujah. You can pray all you want to, brother. Hallelujah. We knew you when you couldn't talk. Yeah. Mm. Jesus. Jesus. Why you had to hit me like that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, we're going to get out of here. Mm. But there is no distinction for all the sin, for all the short of God's glory. But we are justified by His grace. Hallelujah. As a gift. Through the redemption that is in Jesus Christ. Whom God put forward as a sacrifice of atonement by his blood, by his blood, blood. affected through faith. He did this to show his righteousness because in his divine forbearance he had passed over the sins previously committed. It was to prove at the present time, somebody say at the present time, <laughs> that he himself is righteous and that he Let's stand to our feet and give him praise for he's worthy. Hallelujah.